Hey everyone, it's me again with another DIY. This week I'm going to be showing you how I managed to recycle this awesome shirt. When I started this DIY, the shirt was in pretty rough shape. As you can tell, I'm marking the travel areas out right now with pins and trying to decide what to make out of it. I found most of the travel areas to be on the collar and the yoke. So I figured maybe a vest would be best. So I removed the collar, the yoke, and the sleeves all with the seam ripper. After that, I went into my closet and found a piece of lace that I had removed from a tank top a while back. I found it a nice contrast with the bright color in the black. However, to use this piece, I decided to cut off some more fabric from the back of the shirt. Once that was done, I removed the remaining of the shoulders and the neckline from the front of the shirt, making it more of a rectangle. Then I hemmed all the raw edges. And say hello to my cat, it seems! Now the gathering is one of the most difficult parts of this project. I found that if you line up the centers of the back of the shirt and the lace panel, it goes a lot quicker. But mostly you're going to want to eyeball the folds that you make it within it to make it so it all fits together. Also you're going to want to pin it in place because it is a, it falls apart when you get it to the machine. When sewing on the lace panel, you're going to want to use a zigzag stitch. And you're going to want to do one zigzag on the edge of the lace panel and another one from where you want to remove all the lace from the inside of the lace panel. In between these two zigzags, I would suggest placing some no fray down. Once you've gotten these zigzags down and the no fray has dried, I would suggest cutting out the yellow fabric from between the zigzag stitches. You know, the stuff that you want to remove, like I'm doing now. Not a very good explanation, but you just watch the video. It, it'll explain, hopefully. Once that's done, you're going to want to repeat this process to attach the smaller edges of your lace panel to the front, like this. At this point, I decide to add a little extra lace. However, you don't have to do this if you don't want. I just like lace. I'm a girly girl. Deal with it. And the end product should look something like this. I kind of like the way it came out, and I can't wait to wear it during the spring and summer. Thanks for watching!